genuinely, like deep down inside, I was not happy. And refused to renew this lease. Like, um, it can't be taking this long to deny me. to my channel oh how y'all doing <laughs> yes we is back with another video <laughs> okay oh my gosh do y'all hear the echo ah! <laughs> okay as y'all can see by the title today we are doing a life update video also finally obviously revealing my big secret so i want to start from the very 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 beginning first things first y'all i've been off of youtube for a whole month i think it's been over a month if i'm not mistaken either way this is the longest i have ever been off of my channel y'all but i promise y'all there's a good reason behind it obviously i want to start from the beginning so the real reason why i took a step back from youtube y'all obviously was because i just was not happy with the content I'm, I'm just being honest i wasn't happy with the content i wasn't happy with where i was I wasn't happy with i just didn't feel fulfilled so as y'all know originally i lived in virginia and no shade to virginia okay because i'm originally from baltimore maryland and virginia is better than baltimore maryland virginia has never been it for me personally especially coming from a city i personally think virginia is too slow and especially for somebody like me i like very fast paced upbeat kind of vibes and somewhere that's gonna give me a lot of opportunity especially with youtube i got tired of making the same vlogs going to the same places seeing the same people i didn't really care for my apartment i'm grateful and i'm blessed that i was able to have an apartment and that was my very first apartment on my own so it was something big for me but it wasn't something that i really was happy about i was always grateful and i was always working with what i had but it did not genuinely make me happy when i was vlogging and hanging with my friends and my family i had fun but i got tired of keep going to the same places like it just got tiring i just said you know what i'm gonna just take a step back right another thing a lot of people do not know now if you've been watching me for a while right i've been on here for a little minute and i used to drive a black honda civic but i got in a really bad car accident y'all where i totaled my car and i don't even think a lot of people notice the transition from me filming in that car versus filming in a different car so my sister was allowing me to use her car of course when i can but it's her car so it's like i couldn't really move around the real the way that i really wanted to and i also knew that what my goal was was to move so i was like around that time when it happened i'm like damn like i don't got no car like this is the first time i have never been without a car y'all so that right there kind of set me back a lot too uh kind of i wouldn't say i was depressed because i don't like i don't like speaking something on me that's like I, I don't know i'm big on before i tell myself that i'm something or i'm this way i try to fight it first like and granted you know you can't I mean, you can fight depression for sure, but I don't think I was depressed. I just think I just wasn't as happy, but I was working with what I had. When I was able to use my sister car, I used it. I vlogged, I filmed, right? When I was able to go outside, somebody picked me up, my, whether that was my cousin, my friends, my family, whoever, I still was doing things. I was working out still, you know what I mean? Like I, I made sure to stay active, but genuinely like deep down inside, I was not happy. And I've been here now for like a week, so. <laughs> this video is obviously recorded after I've already moved in. And a lot of other videos y'all will see after this that has already been recorded will show you how it led up to me being here already. So I made a decision, an executive decision. And I know some people was hitting me up like, where's the vlogs? Where's the videos? I personally feel like it was semi-selfish for me to not say exactly what was going on but then again i was like i feel like they'll be grateful for when i come back with the big news i'm coming with and also with the consistency and just me being happy like that's kind of like take back some things so we already know i wasn't happy we already know i decided to step back we already know i had lost my car right i don't know if y'all have seen videos before where i talked about how i was moving y'all i didn't even know where i was moving i didn't know when i was moving but i knew I was moving. I was speaking that shit into existence. I was writing it down. I was telling my friends and family. And I'm like, yo, I gotta get the fuck up out of here because I don't have no kids. I don't have no man. And I want big shit in my life, right? I was honestly, y'all, debating between Atlanta and Houston. 
And the reason why I was debating between Atlanta and Houston, first of all, I've been to Atlanta twice. My first time going to Atlanta, y'all, I was like, oh my gosh, I like the feeling here. Like it felt so upbeat, fast paced. It seemed like everybody was supporting each other. A lot of black people, just everybody know Atlanta is like the black Hollywood, right? First went to Atlanta, I'm like, yo, I can see myself living here. I remember I was telling my cousin that. Then I start to reevaluate some things. I had to, I had to waste the things out, like pros, cons to Atlanta and Houston, right? I had never been to Houston before. I don't know nobody in Houston. And I was like, you know what? I want to go somewhere where I don't know nobody. And I also want to go somewhere where it's a little bigger. And so I'm like, all the YouTubers going to Atlanta, I don't really want to do what every, or go where everybody else is at. And that's no shade to nobody, but I wanted to go somewhere different. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go to Houston and I'm going to visit first before I made my decision, which is when I visited for my birthday. Uh, I didn't know much about Houston. I just knew it was big. It was popping. It was city life. The opportunity was great. And you're going to get a good amount of space and apartment for what you're going to pay, right? So Kita ended up coming on to the trip kind of kind of last minute. Like, I think I like two weeks before I left. I was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, fuck it. We're going to go out there. We're going to turn up for my birthday, right? That wasn't my main reason in going. I wanted to go for my birthday, but my main reason was to go look at apartments, which y'all did not see. So I can kind of show y'all clips of the apartments that I went to go look at, obviously, because I don't live there. So... I can show y'all, but it's so crazy how you really don't be knowing what's going on behind the camera. I didn't want to reveal that to y'all because I didn't even know if I was serious. Like, I mean, I knew I wanted to move, but I didn't know. Like, I don't know. I just didn't know. So I kept it like, you know, on the back end. But I went to look at them apartments and I fell in love. Just how big they was, how nice and luxurious they was. I'm like, yo, this shit is nice. <laughs> And aside from looking at the apartments, y'all, when we got on that interstate to go downtown, I'm still learning things, y'all. But when we got on that interstate to go downtown after coming from the airport, and I saw all these fast cars and five lanes and everybody's speed. I mean, even though that's that's not good, but it was it was like a something just ignited in me, y'all. And y'all know I'm from the city anyway. So I'm like, yo, I told Keita, I said, oh shit, like what? Then I saw the big buildings. I'm like, yo, I'm going to move here. And on top of going to go see the apartments and then on top of going out, when I, when we went out here, as y'all saw, we had a ball, food, busing, so many black people, so many black businesses. Everybody's so sweet. Obviously I haven't seen all sides of Houston, but for the weekend that I was here, I fell in love, y'all. I fell in love. I was so sad going home. But I told Kita before I left, I'm moving here. Honestly, I didn't even think I was serious. But I didn't again, I did. Because if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do that shit. Anyway, point of the matter is I came back home, y'all. And I was like, dang, man. I don't want to be here. Like, fuck it. I'm about to start applying for apartments. So I didn't end up going with none of the apartments that I looked at. Because I was very particular. I knew what I wanted. I knew what I did not want. I knew the kind of apartment I wanted. I knew what area I wanted to live in. Because I did all the research, y'all. That was April I was doing the looking and stuff. So I was like, maybe like June. Because my lease was about to, about to end in June. The end of June. My lease was supposed to end. So I'm like, yo, I cannot renew this lease. I'm not renewing this lease. I refuse to renew this lease. Like I'm not staying here for another year. First of all, Houston require a lot of information. Let me just say that off the rip. They want your damn whole backstory for you to apply at apartments, which was cool. But then I was kind of like, damn. So this apartment that I'm in right now, y'all was seeing an apartment tour, don't worry. I just wanted to tease y'all a little bit. Ah! The apartment, I went with obviously is this apartment. I did not view that apartment when I was in Houston. I found this apartment after doing more research and you know digging and digging and digging and I ended up finding this apartment right. And the lady actually did a FaceTime walkthrough of the model unit and she told me she said the model unit is the exact unit that you the exact kind of unit you will be in. So this is literally how your apartment will look. When I tell you that lady FaceTime me and showed me the apartment, I say, oh shit, I want that. I want it. It was big, as you can see. Y'all don't even see everything yet. But I was like, yo, I want it. She's like, if you're serious about it, you need to apply today. I'm like, oh shit, like this, this real, like this is the moment where it's really gonna test you to see if you really bought what you was talking about. The difference when you go look at apartments and you, you know you're doing all that, but when you gotta put that application in, 
that's when you know you for real. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, as soon as I hung the phone up from that lady, I applied. Baby, I ain't never been that nervous in my damn life. When I put that application in, y'all, I filled everything out. I did everything that they required. But when I got to the very end and I pushed the submit button, y'all, when I tell you that, that screen was low and I was over there like, God, please, please, God. No, seriously, like, for real. Like, I was really low-key panicking, y'all. I'm laughing now. It's funny now. But at that moment, y'all, I was like praying to God. I'm like, yo, God, this is my new life. This is my opportunity to start over, start fresh. I really want this. Like, please, God, y'all, literally, while I'm praying like this, the screen is steady low and y'all. It was low and no lie for like three minutes. It can't be taking this long to deny me. Like... <laughs> So anyway, the shit said pre-approved. Y'all, when I tell you, I was like, what the fuck did I just do? Like, I literally just applied for an apartment in Houston. I'm in Virginia at that moment. I'm like, I'm in Virginia. I'm applying somewhere all the way in Houston. Like, I'm for real. Like, I'm dead ass. Call them. I'm like, hey, I just got pre-approved. Da, da 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 What does that mean? Like, they're like, oh, we just need some verification. You need, you need to send your proof of pay stubs and all this other shit, right? And that was on a Friday. That was on a Friday. So imagine you applying for some shit on a Friday and you gotta wait the weekend all the way to next week to find out what the answer is. They start sending me emails about signing up for their portal over the weekend. This is before they even gave me a confirmation. Start sending me emails and setting up this and setting up that. I'm like, yo, they can't be sending me all this shit and I got denied. Ain't no way. I forgot what day it was. The lady called me basically telling me I was approved, y'all. When I tell y'all, I broke down. I broke down. I hope I don't cry in this video, y'all, because this is really some crazy shit on how it happened. It's like, yo, this is like a new leaf for me. Like, this is a new start for me. Like, I've been through a lot in Virginia, y'all. Me personally, I've been through a lot. I dealt with a lot with men after losing my car. People don't know a lot of shit, which I don't care to go in depth on, but I personally feel like VA took a lot out of me. I'm literally counting down the days, y'all. I'm counting down the days. I'm counting down the days. And I was throwing little hints on my Instagram story. If y'all follow me on Instagram, make sure y'all follow me if y'all not follow me on Instagram. To this day, right now, today, people probably think I'm really on vacation because the countdown I was doing was just like a little airplane. You know how you do the little countdown on the IG story? All it was is an airplane. Nobody knew except my family. And if somebody caught on, I, I was being honest. I, I was honest about it. Like, yo, I don't want nobody to know until I'm there. Like, I needed to make sure I got here. Ain't nothing blocked my blessings, which I feel like either way it was going to happen regardless. But I was like, yo, I'm not speaking on this. I'm going to just stay down. I'm going to chill. I'm going to hold it down. I don't have no car. It's cool. Because I knew when I came to Houston that I was going to get me a car. So I'm so grateful for my family, number one, for supporting me. I'm going to just say that because if I get too in-depth, y'all, I'm going to start crying. The time it was time to pack. I packed my whole crib. And y'all will see all of this because I've, I've, I've logged everything. So I packed my whole crib, y'all. I packed my whole crib by myself. Shout out to Kita. Shout out to Alicia for getting me the boxes for free. I ain't had to pay for no boxes. My brother came down from school. Grateful for my brother. Came down from school. Y'all will see me and my brother packed the whole U-Haul together. Man, packed the whole U-Haul. And FYI, y'all, FYI, let me take it back now that I mentioned the U-Haul. Originally, I was going to do a pod to, to deliver my shit here. And I was going to get on a flight and just come here and meet them here. I didn't feel um, comfortable with the answers I was getting from my apartment complex and from the pod company on where the hell they was going to drop my pot at. And I'm grateful that I didn't go that route because when I got here, I was like, yo, it's literally nowhere for them to have dropped that pot. Like, and they didn't know what date they was going to be able to deliver it. And I ain't had time for all that. So shout out to my motherfucking sister. So I'm like, dang, man, I found out the shit about the pot. I'm like, man, I ain't trying to drive no U-Haul, but fuck it, I might got to drive the U-Haul. Mind you, y'all, from Virginia to Houston, it take 21 hours something told me ask my sister and she was like yeah i do it i was like no you for real she was like yeah i'm for real i'm like no bro tell me you for real before i start getting shit in motion for this u-haul because this gonna be a long ass drive she like bro i'm for real love my sister down man that one thing about my sister she gonna rock with me and i'm gonna rock with her too my family in general but me and my sister we like this 
so they kind of moved. My brother helped me pack the U-Haul. My sister came down the day it was time to leave. And we drove the U-Haul. Now, mind you, we did, y'all will see, we did, um, you know, spend the night overnight in a city. But she drove my sister, man. When I say my sister is a real one, man, she a real one. I don't want to start crying, y'all. Lord Jesus. But shout out to her, man. Shout out to her. She held it down with the drive. And she did the first, what, at least 11, 12 hours my sister drove straight? We slept overnight. I took over the next morning. I think I did like seven hours or something, and she did the rest. Me, Tanise, my sister, we literally driving the U-Haul, y'all. Driving the U-Haul. 21 hours we did total. Now, mind you, I was going to wait until I got here, already packed my shit in before I focused on a car. Things didn't go that way. So I started applying for a car maybe two weeks before I was going to get here. Same day that I got here, my car was ready. The same day I was moving in was the same day my car was ready. I just felt like everything just fell in place. It was like meant to be. But let me tell y'all some shit. We had about nine hours until we had got to Houston. So we did the calculations. It was behind time. Now mind you, it was on a Saturday. My renter's office closed at five o'clock. I tell y'all, when we saw the time, that shit said like five something or 5.20 or something. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss my, you know, walk through, get my keys. Like, I, I can't, I can't. So the last, I think like hour and a half left of the U-Haul driving to get to here, my sister was like, let me get behind the wheel. I did like seven hours. I was tired, y'all. Shout out to my sister again for doing that, that 11, 12, but she liked driving. I don't, I hate driving. But anyway, I wasn't able to let her do the whole 21 hours by herself. I tell you, she pushed that motherfucker. She Push that down, you haul. We literally pulled up to my apartment complex at 5.02. Before we pulled up, like 10, 15 minutes, they called me, they're like, hey, where are you? We're about to close at five. I'm like, yo, I lied, y'all. I'm like, yo, I'm literally like 10 minutes away. Like, please don't leave. She's like, I'm gonna wait for you. So I'm like, thank God. Y'all pulled up 5.02. Lady gave me my stuff, got the keys. And then I was texting the man, the salesman, with my car in the meantime. So he trying to find out how what time I'm gonna be there. So it was a lot going on that day, y'all. It was a lot going on that day, but I'm grateful everything worked out the way that it did. So I got my keys, we came in, saw the apartment. I didn't even get a chance to really feel the emotions when I came into my apartment for the first time because I think I was just, I don't know, like my mind was just somewhere else. It was like, I was grateful and I was happy, but I couldn't show it. Dropped that shit off, we had to go take the U-Haul to the, to the uh, Toyota place to go pick my car up. So my car was already ready, right? Got my car, y'all. I was like, yo, got in my car. Now, mind you, y'all, I haven't had my own car in months. I got in my car, y'all. I broke down. When I say, I, it's not funny because, of course, now I'm excited and I can talk about it. But in those moments, y'all, I broke down. I broke the fuck down. I broke down because I'm just like, thank you, God. Like, I'm so grateful. I'm just so grateful. I'm just, I just can't say it enough. It was like, to me, a sign that it was meant for me to be here. That's pretty much everything. Like, that's I've been here for a week now. Been loving it, y'all. I've been handling shit. You know what I'm saying? I got you know, some vlogs coming out really, really soon. So if y'all are not subscribed again, like I said, please subscribe, baby, because this is about to be a whole different vibe. I feel like I'm basically starting over on YouTube as well, because this is about to be a different life for me. I already see it. I'm speaking it. I'm confident in it. Y'all let me know what kind of um, videos y'all want to see, what kind of content y'all want to see. Of course, I know y'all want to see vlogs. I don't have a set schedule yet for when I want to drop videos. Honestly, I'm just waking up every day y'all do y'all see this natural sunlight baby like i don't have no lights on right now look at this fucking natural sunlight hopefully y'all can respect you know the decision that i made and honestly i appreciate y'all because i've been getting people subscribed to my channel even though i stepped away and that is everything i have for y'all i feel like i told y'all a lot i gave y'all the update on what's going on with my life my mental health i got a car now i got a crib now. i am blessed if you're not subscribed to my channel be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you do not like the video give me a thumbs up i appreciate y'all for clicking on the motherfucking video i will see y'all in my next video